Okay, so we are at, so we found this. This is the law of cosines. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. And we're gonna go ahead and solve a triangle. And the first triangle we're gonna solve is an SAS, which is a side angle side. So A, B, C, given that A is 11, B is six, C is, we do not know what C is. And then this is, so we do not know what C is. A is, angle C is 20 degrees, so this is 20 degrees. This is example number one. So, well, I looked at the law of cosines and it looked pretty complicated. So why don't I just use the law of sines? Can I use the law of sines? So we'll call this A and we'll call this B. Sine of A over 11 is equal to sine of B over six is equal to sine of C, to C over 11. This, oh, this, I know this, A, B, so this is, this is 20, right? You're so right, Hunter. What is B, B is five? I thought it was six. Oh, it's five, never mind. Good job, Hunter. Five, thank you. Your life, sir. So obviously I can't use this side, right? Not 11. This is C. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we are. There we go. So, can I use these two? Yes. No, because I have two unknowns. If I do this one, yes. again, I have two unknowns. I can't do it. If I use this and this, I still have two unknowns. Oh, what's that? So, exactly, this is exactly when you cannot use a law of sines, you are forced to use the law of the cosines. Okay? But you can in the future. So let's do law of the cosines here. And we're going to try to solve for C. So C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine 20 degrees. So I have, these are numbers, numbers, numbers. This is just a number. I can just go ahead and calculate it out. If I get that, I find that it says 42.63, 42.63. Therefore, C is going to be equal to the square root of that. And that's going to be six something, 6.53. Okay, so there you go. So we found the C, right? And then we're, we we're supposed to solve the entire triangle, right? So this guy here is 6.53. So now what can I do? The law of sine. So I can use the law of sines now, right? Because I can have this guy, I have sine 20 degrees over 6.53 is equal to sine B over five is equal to sine A over 11. So I can use this guy and this guy and solve for sine. I can find out what angle B is. And then I can go from here to here and find out what angle A is. Or actually, once I find angle B here, right, I can just go ahead and take 180 degrees minus 20 minus whatever I find here and call it angle A. Right? Okay, so that would be the entire, I would have solved the entire triangle that way, right? Let's go to example number two. Okay, example number two, solve triangle when I have nine, seven, and five. Nine, seven, and five. <laughs> a, B, and C, so this is A, B, this is C. 
So we need to find the angles, right? We found our, well, we have all the sides, so we need to find the angles. Again, I can't use the sine A over A, sine B over B. I can't use that, okay? So I have three unknowns. So we're gonna have to use the law of cosine. So let's go ahead and I don't know, let's go, we'll go out this guy. We'll call it A. Why is it on like that? Huh? Ooh, what? A squared is equal to, so A squared, which is nine squared is equal to seven squared plus five squared minus two, seven, five cosine A. And from this, I can find out what A is, right? Did you both do this? I hope they did the A first. Say they did, tell me they did A first. Yes, they, they did. did. They did. And A is equal to, if they do this, A is equal to 95.74 degrees. And then they solve for angle B, it looks like. Angle B would be here. So it would be B squared is equal to A squared C squared minus two times nine times five cosine B. And from this, they found B to be 50.7. And obviously angle C would be this plus this and then subtract it out from that. Okay, so let's take a break right here.